I kind of caught, he was sort of falling down and, and as he was ball carrying and I sort of got him with a bit of a, a bit of a swinging arm, but it was, his head was nearly hit in the ground that, you know, there was nowhere else for, for me to tackle him um, at first. And I, I knew I caught him pretty flush in the face and I could hear him mouthing off at, um, I think it was Trusky on the, on the ground. And I sort of stood up, I was like, I know it was me. So I just stood in and was just like, right, like, let's go. If you, if you want to have a crack, like this, you know, I'm ready to go. Uh, and then he just started doing the freestyle swimming, but uh, it didn't quite connect on anything. So I was ready to crack it, to have a have a go at him, but um, but we never we didn't actually get to to do anything. And then the boys come running in. Someone just lifted Nuggy out. I think Mitch Brown came over the top and um, gave him a bit of something around his collar. But did you literally say that to Aaron? Like, look, that was my forearm, mate. If you're gonna punch someone, punch me. Oh, I kind of just jumped in and just grabbed him by the sort of by the collar and was just like, yeah, it was me. And then he was kind of mouthing off at me about saying that I punched him in the face. And I was like, look, mate, you were falling to the ground. There was nowhere for my fist to go other than around your head. So just general play. And he was, but it, I was glad that it sort of happened because I mean, oh, at the time I was glad because I was like, sweet, I'm in, I'm in Nuggy's head. Like, you know, he might, he might um, think about overthink about this too much, but. Probably ended up firing him up even more, and then he come home strong later in that game, and obviously did what he did. So probably wasn't a great, great thing for me, but we had a good laugh about it after the game anyway. So we're all good. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it to a halfback Royal Rumble then. Take it right across the country. <laughs> uh, I would thought maybe TJ would go in his favourite. Yeah, he's got the reach. If there was such a thing, he would train the house down. Like even if there were rugby games being played in between, he'd just constantly boxing and MMA fight until the actual thing happened. So he'd be the most prepared, I would imagine. 